Welcome back to Valley Life. I'm Alicia Safias, and today we are lucky enough to be talking about healthy smiles. And I'm joined by dentist here in Fresno, Dr. Don Christensen. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate your coming. Yes, we are glad to be here. And of course, oral health is so important. And you do family dentistry and cosmetic dentistry. And you really like people to start young. Why is it so important to instill this in our children? Well, there are several reasons for starting with a child. Number one, if the teeth are not present, it affects their speech. It affects the development of the permanent teeth as to where they come in in location. And it affects the child's ability to eat and also how they feel about themselves. So we like to start with children, uh, depending upon their maturity level, somewhere between two and a half and three and a half. Get them in so that, that we can at least see what's going on. Usually the first time is just an examination. Uh, get the child used to us, give them a toothbrush, give the parents an overview as to what's going on, uh, what kind of problems we see now and what potential problems we see in the future. And it's also great because you establish relationships with people here in Fresno. You've been in the community for a long time. You have a lot of involvement and you truly do care about the Fresno community. Oh, I love Fresno and I've been here over 30 years. Um, most of my patients, we believe in long-term relationships. I am not one that wants a patient to come in and run away. We don't want to push them out. We would like to have them with us for many, many years. And that's what many of our patients are here. I don't believe this as a patient practice. I believe it as a friend's practice. And so we'd like to have people that want to be friends, people that want long-term relationships, people that want someone that they can trust that will be very honest with them. I'm more concerned about the quality of dentistry and taking care of their needs than I am pushing a project or something through. We'll make offers to them. We'll give them options. We'll explain what they can and can't do, what their needs are. But in the end, we're going to show them what the possibilities are, and they can make the decision. I think that is so important because you really do make people feel comfortable that are coming in. Give us kind of an overview of the different types of procedures we may encounter and what they mean. Well, we do many different things here. Um, we do a lot of cosmetic dentistry, but within the term cosmetic dentistry, it can be whitening of teeth. It can be tooth colored fillings, which are composite plastics. It can be tooth colored crowns. It can be um, inlays or it can be, if you're missing a tooth, it could be an implant, it could be a bridge. But we want to make you feel good about you. We want to give you a smile that when you smile, you feel comfortable. Because if you're not comfortable smiling, you're going to run around with your hand over your mouth. You're not going to talk as well. You're not going to feel as good about yourself. And you just don't have the opportunity to grow and develop if you don't feel good about your smile. So one of the questions we ask a lot of patients when we can see a problem is how do you feel about your smile? Is there something that if you could snap your fingers and make a change, what is it that you'd like to change? And then let's see what we can do to help you. Wow, that sounds great. I know a lot of people out there have put off going to the dentist for a while. They may hear something like they need a root canal and that can be scary for a lot of people. It's not as scary as it used to be, is no, it? No, <laughs> it's not. Uh, root canals or endodontic procedures have changed significantly. Uh, over the years, it usually goes much easier. Uh, and root canals are very successful. Very few root canals fail, although you can have failure in anything. But they are successful, usually quite painless. But again, it depends upon the degree of infection. If someone's coming in and their face is all swollen with a lot of infection, it's going to be a, a more difficult procedure than if you catch something early when they're really not in pain. Let's talk just about overall oral health and how important it is we need to come in and get our cleanings and just make sure we're taking care of that. Well, unhealthy gums affect the body in many ways. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that not only does it affect the mouth, but it affects the overall all well-being. It can increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Diabetes shows up in the mouth. Oftentimes, the dentist is the first one to diagnose that there is a uh, diabetic problem or other health issues and so we're going to evaluate them. Uh, unhealthy gums with infections then you get bad mouth odors and so we evaluate people for mouth odors. Obviously there are other reasons for mouth odors besides teeth but that is one of the major reasons that people do have mouth odor and so we want to get the mouth healthy, we want to help them take care of it, and we'd like to help them keep their teeth because if you have unhealthy gums, you're more likely to risk losing your teeth at a young age. 
And the saddest thing at all is to have someone in their 20s come in and their teeth aren't bad, but the gums are horrible, and now we're putting them in dentures. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Christensen, for making all of us want to smile a little bit more. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> and again, you have a great smile, oh, by the way. Thank you very much. And I know a lot of people out there are looking for a dentist right now. You are accepting new patients oh, so they can call or stop by and have a consultation. Absolutely. All right. We'd love to have, uh, have them come in and give us a chance to meet them and see if we can't make them feel comfortable and give them some more reviews on what they can do. Perfect. Thank you so much. And Valley Life, we'll be right back.